and the one best known to us all, the Basset Hound. The Beagle! Here. Taking in the outline of the dogs, often the indicator of breed type and balance. Of course, he gets a good look at each one as they come in, so he's already developing an idea of where he may be looking. Uh, uh, going well here. The Petit Basset is built on more moderate lines. It's a medium length of back, medium length of head. So it's. And now we have the Basset Hound. It's come from a big entry today. And this one is another which has come from the Netherlands. The Basset Hound. Originally bred by the French monks and uh, one of the French hounds with this nobility about them. The long ears which encase the scent, this clean head, strong bone and flexibility in the skin which the judge is looking at there. Yes, depicted by cartoonists the world over as a bit of a twerp, isn't it, the, the Basset Hound? But it's not by any means. And uh, they're really popular as family dogs, happy to be by the fireside or out on the moors. And Both things suit them. And although they're low to ground and substantial, they should have good ground clearance to give them athleticism. And though they've got a slight elasticity in the skin, it shouldn't be overdone. We don't want any exaggeration in skin, wrinkle, or indeed, in heaviness of the body. They have to be athletic too. This one, a tan and white, and a very nice top line, that wagging stern, strong bone, as we see, and strong feet, very important and as for well a hunting as all, hound. As well as all the distinctive appearance, a very distinctive voice.